Welcome back to this playthrough for Wing Commander 4. And this is going to be final wrap-up video for all the alternate paths or alternate options on the um, Panther path, as it were. So, there's a lot of similarities with Panther's path and Hawk's path, so the, these first two are actually missions you could do on either or. So what I've done is I've loaded mission M1, which is the Telemon system, and so yeah, let's um, go see if we can't find pliers. Maybe. So this is the first um, conversation with a. This one actually, I guess this will. This one will be all negative basically. So let's go ahead and get this negative conversation with pliers out of the way. Real beauties, ain't they? Wouldn't even have to fly. I keep them around just to look at them. <laughs> well, I don't think we want these to be museum pieces just yet. No, I guess not. What's this? I don't know yet. But hey, get a lot of this. Yeah, finally, I get to dig into something that's state of the art. I oh, don't worry, I ain't gonna cannibalize these babies. Oh. See those intakes? It's got a whole new power plant. Matter, antimatter. Just like the ones running the cap ships. You know what that means? You don't need fuel for an afterburn. The juice comes directly from the power plant. Exactly. Of course, that means that your guns and shields might take a little drain. But for short bursts of afterburners? <laughs> Imagine the speed. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. So, kid. In your honor, I could have one of these prepped and ready in no time. Want to take one up on your next stop? You ever think the wrong side might try and shoot me down? Yeah. That's a small price to pay for unparalleled speed and power. Oh, I didn't see the... I didn't see the... Uh, words there. death traps. I don't know. It seems pretty risky. No one flies them till they're fully checked out. It could be booby trap for all we know. That's probably one of his uh, least angry responses, I'd say. All right. So the next uh, cinematic, once again, is with old pliers, and it's in the. Uh, Next to last mission, basically. Let's see. Okay, so I am um, not exactly sure where my save file is. Um, I might have to play through all three of the first three uh, in, as in November, branch missions just to get this conversation. And uh, I don't really feel like doing that just now <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the the last series of missions the O missions and we're gonna go to the assembly floor and there's basically two ways you can lose the conversation there so I'm gonna do the first way which is gonna be a very fast uh, loss probably and then we'll try to do the the second more drawn out method where I do all the alternate conversation options with Tollwin and then that should give us losing in game two so let's um I guess I'll just meet y'all there because I should be able to fly through this mission pretty quickly and uh this time I won't waste time trying to destroy the mines see y'all see y'all down on Seoul Assembly is in session. Today we honor a man who has dedicated his life to the protection and defense of humanity. And we congratulate him on his promotion to his new post. Space Marshal Tolwyn.
Esteemed senators, um, thank you for bestowing this honor upon me and for allowing me to speak to you before you cast your momentous votes. Well, we can no longer ignore the obvious. The border worlds wage war against us, and we do nothing but issue decrees. We can no longer turn a blind eye. Let me lay out for you some of the more egregious transgressions that have been committed against innocent Confederation civilians. Yes, a formal declaration of war is a very terrible thing. It should not be undertaken unless all options have been exhausted. And I'm afraid to report to you that that is the case. We did not fight the Kilrathi for decades just to have an infection hollow us out from the inside. If there is a cancer amongst us, we must cut it out now. I urge you to vote yes on this declaration. Thank you. Careful. Fools rush in. Seize that man! Colonel. May I present to you the hero of the last war? who has forsaken us and now fights for the border worlds. Admiral Tarwin is lying to all of you. Please, Paladin, hear me out. Remove that turncoat. The assembly will now vote. This assembly votes for war with the border worlds. The famous hero of the Karathi War, also known as the Heart of the Tiger, was convicted of treason against the Confederation. No appeal will be allowed. No. Ready. Aim. Fire. Well, that was a losing, uh, second losing ending. But let's let's look at the uh, more drawn out way of getting it. I'll meet y'all back in the assembly room. 
Assembly Hall. Whatever. See you there. All right, here we are back in the Assembly Hall. At this time, we're going to seize the moment, but choose every other conversation option to get all the different outcomes. Well, different conversations, but it'll still be the same losing outcome. Anyway, let's do it. Seize the moment. There is a cancer that needs to be cut out. Seize that man! But it's not on the frontiers of the galaxy, but right here before you! Well, come. This is the great hero of the Kilrathi War, who has betrayed the Confederation and now fights for the union of border worlds. I fight as I always have, on the side of peace and honor. Please, Paladin. Hear me out. If any man has earned the right to a hearing, it is Colonel Blair. Let him speak. What price freedom, Admiral? I come here to tell you the truth. The truth about what's really happening on the outer fringes of civilization. Please, Colonel. You insult me, as well as everyone else here. Do you really believe that this chamber is that ignorant? Two can play that game. I'm saying this assembly has been duped by a charade. An elaborate charade perpetrated by you, sir, who requires their ignorance in order to carry out a personal agenda. The border worlds have fallen victim to a plot, which, if allowed to proceed, will make all of humanity a victim. Well, I suppose there is a strange logic in that. <laughs> well, um, please, continue, Colonel. Tense around him. Admiral, do you believe in the concepts of law and order? Of course, I've devoted my life to them. Haven't we all? And you believe these concepts to be the foundation of a strong society? Indeed. Without law and order, we are lost. Law and order. Control. Maintaining the status quo, that's what this is all about. Harmony among men is a secondary issue. Harmony is maintained through control. He's mad with power. Control at what cost, Admiral? I am a warrior, as you once were, Colonel. I do whatever is necessary for victory without question. Without question? Have any of you questioned the Admiral about his Black Lance forces? Marshal! What are these Black Lance forces he's referring to? If I may remind the Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm empowered to marshal whatever forces are necessary to protect our galactic interests. And these forces are stationed at a starbase in the Axia system, isn't that right? Well, it is my duty to station forces where they may be needed. And the Black Lance have some extraordinary equipment at their disposal. Effective soldiers require effective tools. Like secret, unmarked fighters? Like highly advanced fighters with no markings? Prototypes often fly unmarked. Yes. Making it conveniently difficult to identify perpetrators of criminal acts. We have identified the perpetrators. They fly the same colors as you do. The skies are full of criminals, aren't they, Admiral? It appears so. And hundreds of thousands of innocent lives have been lost in pursuit of these phantoms. Attack Tarwin. 
Admiral, do you believe in the supremacy of content? I don't have to. The Confederation's superiority lies in all we have been able to achieve. What is the expense of these achievements, Admiral? The lives already lost to your Black Lance forces? The millions more who will die if this assembly votes for war? Must we always be at war? Is that the price of freedom, Admiral? The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Something your misinformed, misguided mind seems to have forgotten, Colonel. But something that every loyal Confed citizen knows in his heart. I think we have heard enough. The assembly will now vote. The eyes have it. This assembly votes for war with the border worlds. They get right to the uh, the end, don't they? This looks a little bit different. So that is kind of lame. Alright, well there you go. That's basically every alternate conversation um, on the Panther route, with the exception of the one there at the uh, end of the uh, end uh, branch. So, yeah, that, that'll do it for this video. And the next one I'll try to basically go with more of the uh, the options that Hawk has for his branches and then we'll kind of branch off that direction and then if we beat the game with Hawk once again going to the assembly hall apparently it's a different good ending so there's still yet another ending to get for the game until then thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one take care